Hey guys, in this video I'll be reviewing the Coolpad Note 3 Lite. So as the name suggests, this is the lighter version of the Coolpad Note 3. So the Coolpad Note 3 Lite has a 720p display and as you can see the display is bright and the viewing angles are not so great but they're not bad either which overall makes this a decent 720p display. Next talking about battery life, I personally haven't found any issues when it comes to battery life. I've done a looping video playback and it lasted 9.5 hours on the internet which is really good in my opinion. The Coolpad Note 3 Lite is running Android Lollipop. When it comes to sound, the speakers are placed on the bottom so it probably isn't going to sound great and sound will not be direct but it does sound good. And when it comes to gaming, the Coolpad Note 3 Lite does handle most of the games pretty well. But when it comes to graphically intensive games, that's where the phone struggles and you do notice occasional frame drops. And again, that is something that you expect from this phone. I've also done temperature check and as you can probably see, there are no heating issues whatsoever. The Coolpad Note 3 Lite has a 13 megapixel ray facing camera and these are some of the images that came out of the phone. So when there is a lot of light like during the day, the phone does a good job of capturing good images but in indoor conditions there is graininess going on in the picture and that's probably what you expect especially at this price point. The Coolpad Note 3 Lite has a fingerprint scanner on the back and to my surprise it's really fast and reliable. When you start using you will realize how quick and effortless it is. The Coolpad Note 3 Lite has these champagne lines going all across the edges of the phone which is a really nice design aspect of this phone and that is something that you will notice instantly once you pick it up. So to conclude this review, when you take a look at the pricing, this phone is probably the only phone that's offering fingerprint scanner at this price point, which in itself is a great value proposition in my opinion. So if you are in the market for a phone under 7000 rupees, which also has a fingerprint scanner, the Coolpad Note 3 Lite is an obvious choice. So that's about it for the video guys. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please make sure to hit the like button and share this video it will be very helpful. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter links will be in this video's description and if you have any questions please do leave them in the comment section down below I'll be happy to answer them and if you're interested in more videos like this definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always thanks a lot for watching.